In this video, we will discuss the structure and function of the mammalian heart. The main muscle of the heart is cardiac muscle. Cardiac muscle has elongated tubular shape with branching cells that contain one or two centrally located nucleus. Next, cardiac muscle also shows striation, which refers to the alternation of dark and light band on the muscle fiber. The muscle fiber of the cardiac muscle are interconnected with each other by intercalated disc. This function to relay impulse between the muscle fiber and synchronizes the contraction of the heart muscle. The next structure is the four chambers of the heart. The two chambers at the top are atrium, while the two chambers at the bottom are ventricles. Left atrium and left ventricles are located on the left side of the heart while right atrium and right ventricles are located on the right side of the heart. The two different sides of the heart correspond to the type of blood that the heart receives and pumps out. Oxygenated blood on the left side while deoxygenated blood on the right side of the heart. To differentiate the left side from the right side, we compare the thickness of the wall of ventricles. The left ventricle has a much thicker wall compared to the right ventricle. This is because left ventricle needs to pump blood at high pressure to the rest of the body in comparison to the right ventricle which only needs to pump blood to the lungs which has shorter distance compared to the rest of the body. In addition, both atrium has thinner wall compared to both ventricles. This is because atrium only needs to pump blood at a shorter distance to the ventricles. In comparison to ventricles having to pump blood out of the heart. The next structure is the blood vessels that deliver blood into or out of the heart chambers. They are vena cava, pulmonary veins, aorta and pulmonary artery. Finally, the valves found inside the heart, the atrioventricular or AV valve found on the left side of the heart is called bicuspid valve while the AV valve found on the right side of the heart is called tricuspid valve. The semilunar valve found inside the aorta is called aortic valve while the one found in the pulmonary artery is the pulmonary valve. Next, we'll discuss the function of these structures. Starting with the four chambers of the heart. First is the right atrium, which function to collect deoxygenated blood from superior and inferior vena cava. Second is the left atrium, which collects oxygenated blood from the pulmonary vein. Third is the right ventricles, which pump deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary arteries. Finally, the left ventricles which pump oxygenated blood into the aorta at high pressure. Overall, we can see that both vena cava and pulmonary vein function to deliver blood into the atrium, while the aorta and pulmonary arteries function to deliver blood out of the ventricles. Next is the function for the valves, both AV valve and semilunar valve will ensure unidirectional flow of blood into and out of the heart. This is why blood in the left atrium can only be pumped into the left ventricle and not the other way around. Similarly, the blood in the right atrium can only be pumped into the right ventricle. This backflow of blood was prevented by the presence of a V valve. For the semilunar valve, it will prevent backflow of blood in the arteries back into the ventricles. 